Three, two, one. Okay, so let's see how Ruby is with nail trimming. So I have longer scissors, but you want to scissor with this part of your scissors. And the only part you want to scissor is right in the center here. I'll call it the star part of the foot. Okay, so right in here. I'm not going to do anything around the edges until the foot is on the table. You, if you trim any of the edges while you're holding, you're going to mess up the way the foot looks down on the ground. So now we're going to get the Dremel. I like these big suckers. You can adjust these. And you hold all the way at the top of the Dremel. If you hold here, you have no control. You're going to hold right here. And you're going to take off the pointy part. Good girl. Good girl. And I'm just going to keep hitting it until I get down to the quick. Keep looking. Okay, we'll keep looking. That's good girl. And don't let go of the foot. If she, the dog pulls away. Oh, you're all right. The dog pulls away. Stop. You're fine. I'm not even near your quick. Stop. Yep, you're fine. I'm getting close, but she says that's close enough. But look at all this. Take, take off the point here. And this is where we need to start working on getting back in here. Get close. It's a little warm. That's how you kind of do it and let go. We can even go to this nail and go back to the other, give it a chance to... And you see where she... This nail isn't as long because she's been putting weight on it. And it's kind of bent a certain way. Back to this one. Good girl. To get used to this, I find my dogs don't mind this and much less likely to cut the dog. Okay, now we're going to go to the front. Do the bottoms first. And then uh, Palmer's going to come around. Then I pick up the front leg and I'm going to do the dew claw first. Push the hair away. I use my finger to keep their nose out of the way. Don't need their nose scrushed up. Good girl. Okay, then, come over this way, honey, so you can see the side. So, here we are, I did the bottom, you can see how close there is, the click right there. So now all I have, stop, Ruby, you can zoom in, stop, Ruby, and don't let her get away with it, stop, 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 just, you know, just don't let go, there's the point there, we want to get right back to there, good girl, oh, oh. and again, I'm not hurting her, stop, I, I'm not going to let go. Obviously, she screamed and whoever's had her has let go of her foot. Do not let go of the foot. All you're doing is teaching her bad habits. Now, granted, stop, stop. I'm not letting go. I'm not letting go. I'm not hurting you. You're all right. Stop, 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 stop. So I'm going to look. We're perfectly fine. No blood. This is a drama queen. Blow in their face and other things to distract them. Yeah, you could have somebody baby her, but I'm not into giving cookies or babying for bad behavior. So stop. You're all right. Stop. 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 I'm not letting go. Stop. Look at this. You obviously been winning. All right, so stop. So what I do is if they start acting up, I stop. And I'm going to let loose my grip a little bit. Sometimes it's because I'm holding on so tight and I'm strong from over the years. But because I'm holding, I'm letting up my grip. Let her realize I'm not gonna hurt her. We're good, you're a good girl. I'm gonna go on to the next nail here. But this needs to be done weekly. All right, and that, this one's good. Even this is dangerous. Someone could get their legs opened up here. All right, that one looks really good. This one get a little closer on the side. And basically, I'm going back from, like I'm peeling a potato. Good girl. Now this may be Ruby's first time getting dremeled since she was a puppy. So, all right, good job. Now, let me look at this. Let me look at this foot. This foot and these nails are up off the table now. So, what we're gonna do now is show you how we're gonna scissor this. This one foot here. Now that the nails are done, you don't want to trim anything on the foot until the nails are done. 
Take your scissors, that's why I like long scissors. Pick up this foot if she's lifting this foot. She's trying to lift her foot here. Stop. Go around the edge. I use, I'm using the table as leverage here. I like the scissor, of course, the way the hair grows here. Push this up again. got hair like crushy here. It's kind of got those wavy crushy hairs going on. So don't ever scissor this way. Always scissor the way the hair grows. Now we're going to go a little tighter here. When you can use thinning shears to do this. I personally like to use straights. Good girl. This piece here. You want a natural looking foot. When you're grooming at a dog show, I mean, this is like a home groom now, and then tomorrow, let's say we're at a dog show, you're gonna wash these feet, pull it up with your dryer and your towel, and then you're gonna put cornstarch in here and you will have more hairs that need to be trimmed each day. But the foot will get better and better each day. But you want it to look natural. You don't want it to look too, too tight that it was trimmed. The idea, she does have a nice hair foot. Um, I would like to get these down a little tighter. By getting the nails down, this foot will look prettier in about a couple months but it takes a little bit of time and practice. So now all the nails are up off the ground, but by doing your nails every week, you, you should not hear any click, 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 click. All right, so we're gonna go do the other feet and she's good to go.